What's good guys, today we're having a comparison between Kamika Shotgun Mic VM20 versus Rode VideoMic Pro first generation. Let's go! So guys, let me show you my little setup so we can hear both microphones simultaneously. Here I have the Rode VideoMic Pro and here is the Kamika VM20 with the wind protection and also it is recording uh, through the ceramonic mixer and it's set to the max gain on both. The Kamika microphone is set to maximum gain 10 and the Rode wireless uh, it's not wireless <laughs> Rode video mic pro is set to plus 20 db gain and the camera gain is set to 7 and it means that we have the best noise floor possible and guys i'm standing at about arm length from the microphones it's around one meter here is the road and here is the comica and now I'm gonna be splitting those two into separate channels and making a mono signal, dual mono signal, so you can hear each microphone uh, simultaneously, basically, without me having to record uh, a lot of times with different microphones plugged into straight into the camera. And now, guys, the next test is how those two microphones reduce the sound from the sides and from behind. I have my little POV camera, so you'll be seeing what I see, basically. And now let's check it out. One, two, three, mic check. That's in front. Now let's go to the side. Here we are. One, two, three, mic check. Check, check, check. Now from the back. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, check, check. And now from the side. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, check, check. And now let's get back in the front. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. That's in front. Now let's go to the side. Here we are. One, two, three, mic check. Check, check, check. Now from the back. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, check, check. And now from the side. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, check, check. And now let's get back in front. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now, guys, we're using the Kamika microphone indoors, and uh, the gain is set to the maximum on the Kamika mic, and the gain is at one in camera. B -b 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 -b. The plosives are still not the best ones, but still uh, the quality of sound is not that bad, to be honest. Let's keep quiet for a second to hear the noise floor. Yeah, it's also pretty good. So now let's discuss what's in the kit of this Kamika microphone. So in the kit of Kamika microphone, we get this hard shell case. It's pretty big, but I do like that they kind of include this case into the kit. And inside we can see that there is a foam cutout for all of the components of this microphone, all the cables and also the wind protection. But I do recommend to put this foam cutout away and you'll be able to store everything in terms of audio kit in this bag, like wireless microphones, all the cables and all that stuff, and you have even some more empty space for some other accessories. Also, you'll get three cables, USB-A to USB-C for charging the microphone, also TRS cable for your camera and TRRS cable for your smartphone. The wind protection is looking like a sock and it even has some straps to tighten this up. So I don't really like this uh, wind protection. It's not doing the best job, but it's good that it's here at least. Also here we have a foam pop filter and I do recommend using those two in combination. So the foam pop filter and the wind protection to reduce all of the possible sounds and to make the microphone sound as good as possible. And here is the shock mount, it's made out of plastic and it's pretty tough and I think it's doing okay job, but I wish it was a bit softer. And here is the microphone itself, it's looking pretty good in my opinion, I like the design and it's made out of aluminum I guess or some kind of metal, thumbs up for the build quality. And here are two microphones side by side, they are kind of identical in size, probably Kamika is a tiny bit longer, but all in all they are pretty similar. And now, guys, Comica microphone, really close to my mouth. One, two, three, mic check. 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 And now, guys, we're indoors and I'm very close to the microphone. We have the gain at plus 20 dB on the Rode VideoMic Pro itself. And also the one dB gain or one level of gain in camera. And as you can hear, guys, it's pretty good, but p -p 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 
plosives are not that good so you'd better use a pop filter with this system so here is the Rode VideoMic Pro it has nothing in the kit except for the microphone itself also the cable is attached to the microphone and I had to replace it it's not red by default and also guys um, it, it, it broke basically so here on the body of the microphone itself we have a turn on off button and then the low cut filter button as well as minus 10 dB 0 dB and plus 20 dB on the body of the mic and that's it and in terms of shock mount it is made out of rubbers but they all the time get loose and just fall off and I had to replace those ones and I have to readjust them almost all the time I use this microphone not the best system ever but it's better in terms of absorbing the sound because of the rubber a few words about the built-in battery on the Comica microphone. It has about 60 hours of work time and you can also charge it via USB-C while it is working, which is awesome. And the Rode, on the other hand, has pretty old type batteries, which are not that easy to find in like every store, but they still sell some. But still, I would prefer using a USB-C for charging because it's more convenient, in my opinion. And now, guys, let's test those two microphones in terms of the distance. So here we have a about one meter away and I'll be going backwards so you can hear the difference between those two mics when I go uh, like a bit further away from those two so here it is at one meter one two three mic check one two three mic check now let's get a bit further so here we are at about three meters away one two three mic check one two three mic check so here we are at about three meters away one two three mic check one two three mic check this is about five to seven meters away one two three mic check one two three mic check this is about five to seven meters away one two three mic check one two three mic check and now i'm behind this little snowman which is kind of melted right now so one two three mic check one, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now, guys, I've lowered the gain of the microphone, so it's zero on the road and like two on the Comica. And now we're here in the very windy spot in my backyard. So you can probably hear the wind. I hope so. I'll let you listen for this audio track two times so you can hear the difference, how the wind protection is working on the Comica and how the only the foam working on the road. And now guys I've lowered the gain of microphone so it's zero on the road and like two on the Comica and now we're here in the very windy spot in my backyard so you can probably hear the wind I hope so I'll let you listen for this audio track two times so you can hear the difference also guys those two microphones have low cut filters the Rode has one mode of a low cut filter and the Comica has two modes 75 Hertz and 150 Hertz so let me turn those on and let's hear the sound quality but first here is the threshold kind of a test without the uh, noise reduction I forgot the word the low cut filter right one two three mic check one two three mic check no low cut filter one two three mic check one two three mic check no low cut filter so i have turned on the low cut filter on both of those and kamika has right now the 75 hertz uh, mode and now let's check the sound once again because we have some construction sites all around and probably you can hear the difference but it's more suited towards you know reducing the hum of some air conditioner or fridge or something but anyway let's check how the sound difference is <sighs> my english is so bad today <laughs> One, two, three, mic check. 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 Low cut filter at 75 on Comica and the regular mode uh, with the low cut filter on the road. And now I've set the low cut filter on Comica to 150 Hertz. And basically this is the sound. One, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. And now guys, let's hear all of those side by side and read the text I show you here to know which one is which. One, two, three, mic check. 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 And now, guys, let's check the shock mounts of those two microphones. Let me just, you know, tap the camera a little bit. So here it is with Comica. And here it is with the Rode. 
And now guys, let's have a little walk around like vlogging test to hear the difference between the shock mounts. Do we even hear the shock mount of the Kamika? Because now it's a bit cold outside and the plastic is getting like very tough and uh, not that, uh, you know, smooth and uh, re not really reducing any shake. So let's test it out. So guys, here is a little vlogging test. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference between those two. So guys, here is a little vlogging test. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference between those two. So probably, you know, I'm shaking the camera a bit, but I don't hear anything too bad. So probably, you know, I'm shaking the camera a bit, but I don't hear anything too bad. And guys, I have to say a few words about the pricing. No matter that the Rode Video Mic Pro is a pretty old microphone, I've been using it for around seven years or maybe even eight years now, and it's doing okay. It has some caveats, as I said before, but in terms of pricing, the Kamika VM20 is $120, and for the kit, it's not a bad price, and I do like the sound of this microphone. And the Rode Video Mic Pro, the first generation, not the plus version, is around $180. And if you want to have a dead cat, the wind protection with it, it's $220. So basically $100 difference or almost twice as much for the Rode microphone, which is, in my opinion, a pretty big difference. And the Comica is doing not that bad. And uh, it's the first test I'm recording right now, so I didn't hear the sound like... Uh, too closely just in my headphones right here on in the field and uh, if I have some other thoughts they'll be right here guys so guys I hope you did enjoy this video the comparison of those two microphones please tell me which shotgun microphone do you use and why and uh, which one would you prefer between those two the Comica or the Rode please share your thoughts in the comment section below and if you did enjoy this video please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell my name is Alek Nikitin and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.